The problem reads 4.25 moles of an ideal gas with CVM equal to 3R over 2 is initially at a temperature of 325 Kelvin and 1 bar pressure. It's enclosed in an adiabatic piston and cylinder assembly. The gas is then compressed by placing a 575 kilogram mass on the piston of a diameter 20 centimeters. Calculate the work done in this process and the distance that the piston travels. Assume that the mass of the piston is negligible. So let's start like we always do by writing what we have down. So we have N equals 4.25 moles. We have an ideal gas. We have CVM uh, is 3R over 2. We have T1 equals 325 Kelvin. And we have P1 equals 1 bar. Let's put that right away into Pascals, so 10 to the 5 Pascals. And we have adiabatic. That's situation one, and in that situation, we are at equilibrium. Then what happens? We put on a mass of 575 kilograms, and what else? Over a diameter, over a diameter of 20 centimeters, and we'll make that right away into meters, so zero to meters. So everything is in regular standard units, and this system is also in equilibrium when we start to look at it at the end. Okay, so let's draw a little sketch at the beginning. Our piston's like up at the top here. We know that this distance here is the diameter, which is 0 to meters. We know that we have one bar inside here and one bar outside, obviously. And we have what else? T1 is 325K. That's equilibrium at the beginning. Now we take our system and we put a weight on top of it and the piston goes down. And how much was the weight? It was 575 kilograms. And do we know anything else? That's it, that's what we know. So we want to calculate distance here and how much work was done. Okay, so let's get this stuff that we have. We have Q equal to zero because it's adiabatic. That immediately makes delta U equal to W. And that's also equal to minus P delta V. So we're going to need to find P2 and V1 and V2, and we have none of those. What's a good start probably to find V1? Can we start, because we have P T1 and P1, we should probably find V1. Yeah, we have N, so we're good to find V1 because we have an ideal gas. So V1 is equal to NRT1 over P1. So that's 4.25 moles times 8.3146 joules per mole Kelvin times 325 Kelvin divided by 10 to the 5 Pascals. This moles, moles cancel, moles cancel, Kelvin cancels, joules per Pascal is meters cubed, so we're in the right unit. So let's figure that out, and we should get meters cubed. So what do we have? 4.25 times 8.3146 times 325 divided by 1E5. So 0, 1, 1, 5. 0, 1, 1, 5 five meters cubed. And of course, we expect V2 to be smaller than that. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, so we have T2, P2, and V2. We have none of those. Can we figure any of those out? 
And the answer is we can find P2. How do we find P2? We can find the external pressure here. We can calculate it. And because this system is in equilibrium, it will be the internal pressure P2. So P2 equals P external of this system here. And how much is the P external there? Absolute pressure. So the first thing we have is one bar outside. That's Pascal's. And now plus the weight. So the weight is the force over the area. And we know how to do that. Plus the weight, the force over the area. So we have 10 to the 5 Pascal's plus and we have 575 kilograms times 9.81 gives us the weight in newtons and now we need the area the area is pi d squared over 4 so 0 2 squared divided by 4 and this would be meters squared and so we have Newtons over meter squared, which is also Pascal's. So we're good for Pascal's. We just need a calculator. Calculator. 1 e to the 5 plus 575 times 9.81. We didn't put parentheses around that because it's all multiplication, but now we will. Divided by parentheses pi. Pi is there, so that's second pi times 0.2 squared divided by 4 and that parenthesis enter. So 280 kilopascals is 280 kilopascals. And like we said, that's both P2 and P external here. Now what else can we calculate? Well, we can't even calculate delta U even though we have N and CV because we don't have a dis difference in temperatures. And we can't calculate delta V because we don't have V1 and V2. But we could probably make an equation in these two using T2. So let's see. We could say on the one side, delta U equals NCVM times delta T. So that would be N times 3R over 2 times T2 minus T1. And we're just seeing if we can do this. And then on the other side, we have minus P external dV. So that would be V2 minus V1 minus P external. And V2 is now going to be NR T2 over P2 minus NR T1 over P1. And we have P1, P2, P external. We have T1. And so we can solve for T2. So we can get T2 from here. So let's do that. And Notice I left everything here so we can cancel it out because we're, this is equal to this right here because Q is equal to zero because of adiabatic. So let's write this down. We have, we have N times 3 halves R times T2 minus T1 equals minus P external times NR T2 and P2 is also P external, so we'll just put it in there. Minus NRT1, we'll substitute those, P1. And now N and R cancel everywhere. We're very careful to see that it cancels in every single term. And then we have 3 halves T2 minus T1 equals minus T2. And here we have plus P external over P1 times T1. So we'll take this and solve it for T2, everything else we know. So here's what we had so far, V1 and P2 equal to P external. And we are working on solving 
this 4t2 because we have both p1 and t1 here too. So if we can solve for t2, we're done. So 3 halves t, so this is 3 halves t2 and then plus that t2 from this side. We're going to move 3 halves t1 over onto this side plus p external over p1 times t1. So adding that, we have 3 halves plus 1 is 5 halves, so 2.5 t2 equals t1 times 1.5 plus p external over p1, and that's it. So t2 equals t1, how much is t1? 325 divided by 2.5 times 1.5 plus P external is 280 kilopascals over 100 kilopascals, right, one bar. Get our calculator out and find out how much T2 is. So we have 325 divided by 2.5 and then times parenthesis 1.5, that's the three halves, plus 280 divided by 100 and the parenthesis check it equals 559 that makes sense it got hotter 559 Kelvin so now what do we do with that what we want is minus P2 Delta V we have P2 so we have T2 so we can find V2 and calculate W V2 equals NRT2 over P2. So that is, we won't write in the units this time because we checked that, it's 4.25 times 8.3146 times 559 Kelvin divided by P2 is 280 kilopascals. We will write pascals, so there it is. Okay, and so just make sure this is joules over pascals, which is meters cubed. Get our calculator. So 4.25 times 8.3146 times 559 divided by 280EE3. 1.25, yep, okay, enter. So we get 0 0.071, does that make sense? 0 0.071 meters cubed. Yes, it's gone down a half, so that's good. So W equals minus P2 times V2 minus V1, that's from here. So we have equals to, P2 is minus 280, and then kilopascals, so 10 to the third, V2. V2 is 0 0.071, and V1 is 0 0.115. So this is going to be positive, because this is negative and this is negative, so this is going to be positive. So get our calculator, we have minus 280EE3 times parenthesis 0 0.071 minus 0.115. And check it, yeah, enter. 12,320 joules, 12,320 joules. Joule. That's the work, and now we need to know the distance the piston travels. Remember that this is V1, and this is V2, and V1 is A times the height, H1, and V2 is A times the height here. So H is going to be the difference in the volumes divided by A. So let's put those in. And is the unit correct? This is meters cubed over meters squared? Meters, good. So V2 was 
0 0.071 minus 0 0.115 divided by pi times 0 2 squared divided by 4. So how much is that in meters? Let's see, calculator. We're still good for a side, so point zero seven one minus point one one five. We're going to either have to go back and put parentheses around it. So let's do that. So second insert parenthesis, and then another parenthesis here, divided by parenthesis second pi times point. 2 squared divided by 4. Of course, we could have written all these things down or saved them or whatever. Anyway, what are we expecting? Who knows? Yes, of course, we got a negative volume because we did V2 minus V1. We should have done the bigger minus the smaller. So this is 1.4 meters. 1.4 meters. And in order to make this mathematically correct, we will add absolute value signs here. <laughs> equal to 1.4 meters. So we have work equals 12,320 joules and H equals 1.4 meters. And that, as they say, is that.